Here's the pad 4.0. Um, the only parts that are needed and tools will be a membrane switch and a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, back to the tool. The first thing you want to do is remove the tip collector, just slide it forward and remove it. And then you're going to remove the five 2.5 millimeter Allen screws, one, two, three, four, five, and then you can remove the cover. After removing the housing, then remove the counterbalance holder. Then the membrane switch is this blue mylar looking uh, piece here, is what we are going to replace. So what you want to do is just get the switch, lift it up, and then also there's a piece of tape that's holding the membrane switch to the motor. So I'm going to peel, kind of hard to see here, but I'm going to peel the, the tape back and then I can get my membrane switch. I can disconnect it from the harness and I've removed the membrane switch. So I'll just take my old membrane switch set up here, grab my new one, bring it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a slight crease in the membrane switch like the other one. And then what I'm going to do is just plug it on first of all, plug it into the connector. And then what I'm going to do is Take my membrane switch and plug. There's a slot in both sides of the housing. If you see right here, there's a slot that this membrane switch sits in. Let me zoom in real quick, Norm. Yeah. Let me see. Got it. And okay. And there's also a, a slot like that on the mating housing. Do you want to see, see that? It. Yeah. Okay. Let's see it. So if I can turn this around. So you can see the slot right here. Got it. Okay. okay. So then what I'm going to do is set the membrane switch in that slot and push it down so it sticks in place, as you can see. Then I'm going to take my piece of tape and tape my membrane switch to the motor. So we'll hold it in position. And then I can put the top housing back on. Go. Okay. And the last thing we're gonna do is set the top housing on. And then set the top housing. And again, the main thing is you need to make sure you get your membrane switch in that slot. I have the housings put together pretty nice here. And the other thing is your rear jaw handle will always re move real smoothly when it's when that's in position. So, so what I'm going to do is start putting my screws in. So here's our um, there's five screws that I'm going to put on this side and one on the back side. But again, just to start, I'm going to put this goes a small screw, a long screw. There's going to be a small screw here that I'm going to wait on. I'm going to put a long screw in the back. And then there's also a short screw here. So I have those in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is since I set the screws in there, just go ahead and tighten them up. So just go ahead and finger tight. Just go ahead and snug your screws down so I have those two.
the last screw, before you put this screw in right here, there's a counterbalance holder, so you can slide it in the slot right in the tool here, and you can just line up the hole, and then you're going to just go ahead and put that screw right in there. So again, that's snug. And again, you don't want to over tighten these screws because there's brass inserts in the bottom side, so again, just making sure that they're good and snug. You don't need to over tighten them. And then, like I say, I'm going to flip the tool over. There's, goes, there's one screw that goes on the bottom side, one 2.5 millimeter Allen screw, so we're going to go ahead and put that in. So it's good and snug. And then again, my rear jaw handle moves nice and smooth. And then I'm going to slap, put my tip collector back on, and now I'm ready to put the tool back.